Frankie, people, when you own a business, you would in either incorporate that business or create an LLC for that business for two reasons. Number one, it will protect you from personal liability so that if your business hurts somebody, that somebody would be obligated to sue your corporation or LLC, and they would not be able to sue you personally. Number two, there are some income tax benefits to being incorporated or an LLC that you don't get as a sole proprietorship. So those are two very good reasons for you to do this, Frankie. Now, that you keep talking about making it legal. Frankie, do you have all the proper licenses and permits to be doing what you're doing? Yes, sir. Okay. So, Frankie, uh, create an LLC or a corporation for your business, I think, is a fine and wise idea. Frankie, if you want some more information on that, you are welcome to call our office next week. I'm, I'm Attorney Tom Olson, Olson Law Group, and you can call us at 407 423 5561. Frankie, does that answer your question? Uh, as far as here in, um, for my small business here in Orlando, yes. But the next question I had was, what I do with the, as far as like my dad's business, been, been, he's been in business for over 30 years in Texas. Right. Well, are you going to, I know he's going to give you that business, but you're going to, it's going to still operate in Texas, I assume, right? Absolutely. Okay, so you would need you would have a separate LLC or corporation out there in Texas doing the same thing. I assume that Texas law is the same as Florida law. So, again, you're creating this LLC or corporation to avoid personal liability. So somebody gets hurt, they don't sue you personally. And there are some tax advantages to being a corporation or LLC, Frankie. What are those tax advantages, if you don't mind me asking? <clears throat> okay, so um, my law firm is a corporation, Okay. Every payday, I get two checks. I get one as an employee, just like any employee in my law firm would get. And the other check I get is an S distribution. It is a stock dividend. On this stock dividend, I do not have to pay self-employment taxes on it. So you do. there is some tax savings, and it's up to you and your accountant and CPA to determine it as your two checks how much it comes as an employee and how much of it comes to an S stock uh, dividend distribution. Okay? Yes, right. yes, sir. Your accountant or CP can ex- certainly explain that to you in more detail, Frankie. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, good luck to you. Thank you for calling the show. We appreciate it.